Like a lot of journalists, I entered journalism because I liked writing. Um, uh, then I realised that I probably wasn't a very good journalist. And I got frustrated and began writing what became the Book of Lost Things. Uh, this is the second time I've been here in, in, in six months. As readers, people are being entertained by books in which violence happens, by books in which people suffer. Uh, and we don't pick up a, a thriller or a mystery book uh, to think, my gosh, I hope I'm going to have a, a long, intense, you know, lesson upon morality and violence and the careful use of it. We read it to be entertained. And as writers, we tread a thin line between entertainment and also trying not to exploit violence. And inevitably, I think you overstep the line occasionally. It, it, it's, it's almost unavoidable. But I do try to use violence in a way that that really brings home to readers just how awful the effects of it are. Um, and in The Unquiet, which is the latest book, there is a real step away from that. I, I've become very reluctant to use violence in that way, and, and the violence in the book is quite sparing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Readers, I think, almost expect to have a certain amount of access to writers that they wouldn't have had before. The thing I get from book signings is the sense that I'm not writing in isolation. Yeah, it's good to meet you again. When I began reading, it would never have struck me that I could write to an author or that I would meet an author in person. Uh, I just felt they were very inaccessible people. Uh, now I have a website, there's a discussion forum through which people can contact me and write to me. And I like that element of contact with readers because writers work largely in isolation. We work in a little room, we type away, uh, we throw these books out into the ether and eventually they become this product that appears on a shelf. Um, and there's something very fulfilling about having time to talk to readers and to meet people who, who place a value upon what you do. And I've always tried to write books that I can be proud of, that I can stand over and that are intensely personal to me. So I've tried to explore themes that matter to me, whether they're grief or loss or in the unquiet, whether they're about the treatment of people within certain sections of, of the prison service, whether they're about children being, being tormented or abused. The themes of the books, I suppose, come out of my own life. And will always do so, I hope. Uh, if I were to write a book that didn't, I don't think it would be a book worth reading.